After 16 years behind bars, sisters Gladys and Jamie Scott left state prison with a shout, we're free. How did it feel to drive away from that prison? Oh, I feel so blessed. The sisters were convicted of armed robbery in 1994. Jamie was 22, Gladys 20. Both were sentenced to two life terms. Both insisted they were innocent. I never thought this day would come when I would be on the outside of the wall. When I've been so bound on the inside of the wall. It's been a long, hard road, but we made it. It was times when we want to give up. But I told my sister, I said, we're going to make it. We're coming up out of here. We're not going to die. Free the Scott sisters. Their case became the focus of a grassroots campaign. What do you want? Thousands protested and signed petitions, arguing that their punishment was too harsh for a robbery that netted no more than $200. Nobody was killed, nobody was hurt, nobody went to the hospital. Judge Marcus Gordon presided over the trial. The jury decided the sentence. If it had been brought before me for sentencing, it would have been much less than life. Yet the condition of their release is garnering as much attention as the case itself. Mississippi Governor Haley Barber suspended their sentences as long as Gladys donates a kidney to Sister Jamie, who is on dialysis. Do you know it costs us $190,000 a year <laughs> for dialysis for just one patient? And Mississippi's taxpayers ought not to be paying for that. And I want to give my sister a chance to walk out that prison door. And I want to give her a chance now. Jamie is applying for Medicaid, but they still don't know if Gladys is a match to donate a kidney. And there are more legal battles ahead. But the fight is not over. We have to fight for this part. The sisters will live in Florida with family, and unless they're pardoned, will be on probation the rest of their lives. Kelly Cobia, CBS News, Jackson, Mississippi.